Hello everyone, this is DA from A Academy and today we are going to see that if we have two norms then when we will say that the two norms are equivalent to each other. So let we have a normed space N and we have two norms on the same normed space. The very first norm is this one and the second norm is norm two. So we have a normed space that is a norm linear space and we have norm one and norm two, the two norms on the normed space N. Then the norm one is said to be equivalent to the norm two if satisfy the inequality like that if we take an element of a norm space N that is X. So the norm of that element of x, the norm 1 of that element of x is less than some scalar time that norm norm 2 of that element x and that norm of x, norm 1 of that element x is greater than some scalar time the norm 2 of that element x where the scalars a and b are non zero positive real numbers. So then if this inequality holds true, then we can say that the norm 1 is equivalent to norm 2. Then we can say that norm 1 is equivalent to norm 2 for all of, for all, for all values of n, for all elements of n. So if this holds, then we can say that norm 1 is equivalent to norm 2. Now we are going to see that the concept of equivalent norms in a normed linear space n is an equivalence relation so moving toward this so talking about the equivalence relation the very first thing is that of that reflexivity the second thing is of symmetry and the third is of transitivity so we'll deal with all of them so now talking about the very first thing that is reflexivity If we have a norm on a normed space N and we know the condition of being equivalent to that a norm 1 is equivalent to itself when it satisfies this inequality. That is A times norm of X is less than or equal to norm of X is less than or equal to B times norm of X and that is the same norm because we are going to deal with the reflexive property. So this equation holds when a and b both equals to 1. So when both equals to 1 that this equality holds and this will be equal to this thing and this is true for all x belongs to the normed space n. So we can say that the norm 1 is equivalent to norm 1 and this is what the reflexive property. So the very first property is satisfied here now moving toward the second property that is symmetry. In symmetry we are going to see that if norm 1 is equivalent to norm 2 then the target is to show that norm 2 is also equivalent to norm 1. So we'll use this to prove this. So if norm 1 is equivalent to norm 2 so we can write that a times norm 2 of x that is less than norm of norm 1 of x that is less than d times norm 2 of x for all x belongs to n. So what we are going to do is that taking this here and now we can write this as norm of x the second norm or the two norm on x is is less than this 1 over a. Because A is a positive quantity, so 1 over A is also a positive quantity. And when taking both of them here, we can also write it like norm of X 1 over B is less than norm of X, second norm of X. So we can write this. Where B is a positive number, so 1 over B is also a positive number. So we can say that let 1 over a is a prime and 1 over b is also b prime 
because A prime and B prime are also positive entities. So now we're going to combine this and this. So we can write here that is this B prime norm of norm 1 of x is here that is less than norm 2 of x and norm of 2 is less than a prime of norm x norm 1 of x so this thing implies that so this is the condition when we say that norm 2 is equivalent to norm 1 and that is what the target that if we have that norm 1 is equivalent to norm 2 then we can say that norm 2 is equivalent to norm 1 so there is symmetry in so when two norms are equivalent then we can say that there is symmetry in it now moving toward the third property that is of transitivity so transitivity says that if we have three norms on norm space n that is norm norm 1 norm 2 and norm is equivalent to norm 1 also norm 1 is equivalent to norm 2 then we will show that norm is equivalent to norm 2 so we will use the given conditions and we will prove that norm is equivalent to norm 2 so it is given that norm is equivalent to norm 1 so we can write this as that a times norm 1 of x is less than norm of x is less than b times norm 1 of x where a and b are greater than 0 and for all x in n and for this that norm 1 is equivalent to norm 2 we can write this that a1 time norm 2 of x is less than norm 1 of x is less than b1 times norm 2 of x for all x in n where a1 and b1 is greater than 0 so this is just the given conditions that when norm is is equivalent to norm 1 then we can write this and when norm 1 is equivalent to norm 2 then we can write this so what are we going to do here is that if we are going to multiply this with a then we can have so we have a times a1 norm 2 of x is less than a times norm 1 of x is less than a b1 times we have norm 2 of x so we have this inequality right now and if we do this and if we write to compare if we are going to compare this that here a times a1 of norm 2 of x is less than a times norm x of 1 and this is just as this thing so if we write this part and then we are going to write this part here so we're using this part right now so this part is this part now we are going to use because this is less than norm of x so here this is less than norm of x and now what we are going to write here is because norm of x is less than b times norm 1 of x1 so we are going to write this that we have is less than b times norm x of 1 now what we are going to do is if we multiply this inequality with b1 so what we will have like b1a times norm x1 because we multiply this with b1 and this is less than b1 time norm of x and less than b1 time b and norm of x and the inequality doesn't change because b1 and is a number that is positive so here we have b is b time norm of x1 like this so and for sure this is less than b times b1 norm of x do so now we are going to use this that a a1 time norm of x2 the norm of x and b b1 time norm of x2 because we are going to see the relation of norm and the norm 2 so here we have this this and this so by writing this we have a1 is a positive number with norm of x2 and we have b b1 that is a positive number and norm of x2 so we can write here that c times norm of x2 is less than norm of x and is less than b not sure b that is let's say it is d norm of x2 so this is the definition of when we say that the norm is equivalent to norm of 2 so this is the transitivity that if we have three norms the very first norm 
the norm is equivalent to norm 1, norm 1 is equivalent to norm 2, then we can prove that norm 1 is norm 2 and we have proved that that norm is equivalent to norm 2. So finally, the relation of equivalent to among the norms uh, that can be defined in a linear space and is an equivalence relation here. So this is for now. We're looking for more such videos and you can subscribe this channel in order to watch more upcoming videos. We will meet in the next video. Till then, take care. Goodbye.